Hello and welcome to Captain Bob. Today I'm going to show you how you can wire and install a Hobbs meter. Captain Bob, Captain Bob, he's my best friend and he should be yours too. Let's start off with the wiring of the Hobbs meter. My wiring for the Hobbs meter is pretty simple. I'm using two 9 volt batteries, a Hobbs meter, and an on off switch. I'm wiring the two 9 volt batteries in series so that the voltage doubles then wiring the switch to interrupt the circuit and making sure to include the Hobbs meter this is what the wiring should look like you'll notice that the positive wires feed into the positive side and the negative wires feed into the negative side. The switch is currently off and I can plug in these 9 volt batteries. Now if I turn this on I should hear a little click. You'll notice that this one turns on and off. I believe that's every about three seconds. Now you'll notice that it's actually logging time. When I turn the switch off, it will stop logging time. If I were to keep this on, the hours would go up but I want to keep this at zero until I have my simulators uh, made in flight. Now let's go into installing the Hobbs meter. Right now I'm taking dimensions off of this poster, multiplying them by 1.15, and then applying them to my simulator. On my poster, it's 270 millimeters, 60 millimeters, and roughly 80 millimeters. I multiplied these by 1.15 and got 310, 70, and about 90. I then transferred these dimensions onto the simulator. Right now I'm going to draw out where the Hobbs meter is and then cut it with a jigsaw. Now I'm using a wood rasp to finish the edges. Now I cut the hole to the right size, and I can place the Hobbs meter at the back of it, grab my pencil, and then trace around the Hobbs meter. This doesn't necessarily have to be neat, and you don't want it to be too close to where it really is. Where I colored it is where I'm going to carve. Now I'm going to unmount the sim, unscrew these screws, and carve from the back. Now I carved the back, and it looks quite good. Uh, it's almost flush, and I don't want to go too much further, otherwise I will risk the board splitting when I cut it or drill it right here. So I think this is pretty good and then we will just simply drill the two holes over here. I'll have to repaint this part because the jigsaw made some lines in here and it just doesn't look very clean so I'll paint this later. If you liked this video I assume you'll also like the discord server in the link 
in the description below. It has a lot of people who are interested and very talented in flight simulation, so I think that'll interest you. Also, the, some of these videos will probably interest you. These are some other tutorials about my flight simulator. Hopefully this video helped, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.